Hi loves, this is Jay from Jay Young Healing and this is going to be a general love reading for my singles and my couples um, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Singles and couples for January 16th through the 31st. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> I hope you all are doing well. I'm going to lay all the cards out and then we'll get started. Okay guys. All right, um, let's see. Let's pull some more. Let's pull some more oracle cards for this. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so starting with my single Scorpios out there the overall energy that I have for you is worth waiting for so funny I've pulled this card for several other um, signs in this position as the overall energy worth waiting for and then we have have patience love is patient and kind always I feel like I've pulled that before as well um, so worth waiting for someone that you might have in mind okay someone who you're thinking about right now is the person that's worth waiting for maybe you guys have not come together yet in that and you know in a an emotional way um but maybe there's some sort of connection there that you have with someone okay let's get let's pull some tarot on that what's the overall energy for scorpio scorpio singles okay, okay so Major, we have the Knight of Fire, the Chariot, the Queen of Water, Major, Ar Major Arcana here. Um, so there's someone that you're thinking of taking a chance with, you're thinking of moving forward, maybe even approaching them in some sort of way. Um, some of you could be dealing with, um, a, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You can also be dealing with another Scorpio or Pisces or Aries, Leo or Sagittarius energy here. Okay. So I feel like this person um, that you're thinking of is someone who is, you know, very charming, very passionate, passionate about life. They're adventurous. Um, someone who, you know, gets things done. There's a lot of, you know, strong, intense energy here with this night of fire. Okay. They're very, they're very strong driven person. Okay. Um, um what else um i feel like this person is very strategic in their approach so maybe they're thinking of approaching you maybe they have yet to approach you um but there's that energy there i feel like i feel like you two are coming together look at this knight of fire Okay, the Knight of Fire and the Chariot, how they're coming towards one another, okay? So I feel like if you two are have yet to meet, there is an energy that's going to be happening probably, you know, sooner than later, you two are going to be coming together, okay? And the Queen of Water, uh, Queen of Water here, this could, you know, play out as your energy here, Scorpio, or like I said, you could be dealing with another Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer. So, you know, I feel like, Things are going to, you, you guys are going to come together, but it's an energy of kind of taking your time and just being patient and really enjoying one another's company, okay? Um, I do feel like somebody is watching you though, okay, Scorpio? Someone is watching you. That's, what, that's the energy that I'm picking up on. So um, whoever this person is, they're definitely worth waiting for. So whatever you have going on in your life right now, keep doing you, Scorpio. And this person is going to come in. And I feel like you're just going to know when this person arrives, okay? The advice for you is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path um, and relationship patterns. I feel like these two cards kind of come out together. It's kind of been, it's weird how it's, you know, been coming out to, these two coming out together on, on different readings. Um, but for some of you, you know, religious factors could be an issue or you just finding yourself spending more time with self you know connecting releasing things relinquishing control of things um you know ridding yourself of people and things that no longer serve your life are, are now a big part of you know need to be a big part of your life right because these relationship patterns some of you have been in have, probably have been toxic or just not good for you 
because again, we're talking about the single. So you're single for a reason. So, you know, you have to ask yourself, why are you single? Okay. How are these, the, think about your past relationships and how they've impacted your life, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Okay. Um, but there is definitely something in the middle of, you know, this something in the center of why these relationships, um, or your something in the center of why the relationships is a there's a patterns that can that are continuing to be played out. I feel like I can't even speak today. Okay, so in clarifying this, uh, the religious factors and the relationship patterns, I have the page of fire, the eight of air, and the two of water. So, again, like I said, you can be dealing with. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, now Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, and also another water sign, okay? Um, so I do feel like some of you are just focused on, um, you're focused on opportunities that are coming in for you, and I do feel like something, I feel like someone is coming towards you, okay? And maybe this person is a little bit more aligned with where you are in your life right now and it's something that you're needing okay with this eight of air though i feel like there's an energy of you know some of you some of you might be a bit resistant to this person that could be coming in that's that's what i'm feeling with this eight of air um you could possibly be in your head a lot about if this is a person is this not the person whatever the case may be but remember the overall energy is worth waiting for so whomever this person is that's coming in is definitely somebody that you've been waiting for and again i feel like you've been doing a lot of self-work um a lot of reflecting a lot of shifting and expanding and that you're going to have an under a better understanding when this person arrives that this person's for you because look at the two of water here this is about unified love this is about a commitment so i feel like the person that's coming towards you is a soulmate energy okay again it could be an air it can be an air fire sign or another water sign but there is an energy of a soulmate coming towards you okay a new relationship is on the horizon and again i feel like you guys had to go through this phase you're going to have to go through this phase of releasing things and it's not just about religion but it's about, you know, your spiritual path, you know, and that's bigger than religion, okay? Um, so I feel like, again, you guys are release, releasing things, releasing old patterns, relationship patterns, and you're just, you know, really healing yourself and really focused on self right now. And then as you're focusing on self, someone is coming towards you, okay? So, um, you know, that could happen anywhere from like within like, you know, two to eight months, okay? Or this could be anywhere from two to you know, two to 12 months, you know, something that, you know, something like that for you guys. So, you know, I, I'm not going to say like, be on the lookout because I want you to continue doing you and focus and focusing on your healing. That is most important right now. But again, when this person arrives, you're just going to know. But again, I feel like it's an energy of you guys are both coming towards one another. And it's like, you know, it's like your soulmate is somewhere out there and you're both doing your individual work right now. And you're going to be able to come together at some point and it's just going to be a divine meeting. Okay. The outcome I have for you, Scorpio, is healing family issues. So look, there's more energy of healing. So as you release like these old traditional values and patterns and, you know, things that you're working through now it's like family issues because again a lot of our you know a lot of what our paradigms are as an adult is from what we have learned habits that we have learned from our parents our teachers and you know friends and aunts and uncles so now we're having to release and shift and now develop our own paradigms okay our own habits our own beliefs you know our own truths our truths um and for some of you, you're needing to ask for help. So some of you are needing to seek out counseling, get for professional help, maybe a support group, you know, maybe, you know, a, a family, a family member, a friend, someone that can help you through some of these issues um, as you're trying to awaken and shift. OK, what is the outcome for Scorpio singles? All right, so we have the Empress the four of earth and the six of water. Some of you are probably dealing with the Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn as well. So now everybody's on the board. So now the zodiac signs are irrelevant at this point. This could be anyone at this point. So 
again, I do feel like this person that's coming in is someone who's independent, who's beautiful, who's abundant, who's loving, who's caring, who's nurturing. Okay. And I do with this, um, with this four of earth here, I feel like it's somebody who's someone who's really well established. Okay. This four of earth. I do feel like, again, like I said, someone is watching you or you're either watching someone, Scorpio, okay? But I do feel like there's an energy of all eyes on you. And I feel like this person has been watching you for a while, okay? Um, so they're just kind of waiting, you know, waiting for their time to to um, to approach you or, you or you're the one that's waiting for this moment to approach them okay just waiting on the perfect timing but again there's a lot of healing that's taking place in your lives right now so um this person could also be someone from the past with the six of water okay someone you've known from back in the day maybe high school um, maybe even college or maybe this is an old relationship but i don't feel like it's an old relationship when i say a relationship an actual intimate relationship because you guys are working through relationship patterns and I don't really see some of you going back to an old relationship, this could definitely be somebody new, okay? This is somebody new that's coming towards you. And again, like I said, it's a soulmate energy. And again, I feel like you may know this person. If you don't actually physically know this person from this lifetime, it was someone from the past, like a past life energy. <clears throat> and again, that's why I feel like as you guys are doing the work, you're going to have this awareness when this person comes in. It's going to just feel like a mutual attraction, a very soulmate-like connection, okay? Now, moving into the couples, the overall energy is attraction, okay? So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and slow down, pause and allow things to unfold, okay? So maybe you are jumping somebody's bones right now, okay? <laughs> you guys are moving really fast. There's a lot of attraction and chemistry there, but slow down a little bit. That's what the tarot is saying, okay? What's the overall energy for Scorpio couples? I'll take that one. Too many, but I'll take this queen of air. Some of you are dealing with a water sign, a, a fire sign, or an air sign. So this could either be, some of you could be, this slow down could mean some of you are dating multiple people, okay? Look at a three of fire in the middle. This could be, this could mean that, you know, you're, you're, you're juggling. You could be juggling multiple people, younger, older, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's like all across the spectrum, okay? Um, it's like um, different I feel like you just uh, you you're exploring right now. Maybe there is someone in particular, but again, I still feel that an energy of multiple people might be involved. Again, okay, multiple relationships, different kinds of people from different backgrounds um, that you're dating. Okay, so some of you are just you know again out exploring, and you have multiple attractions to different people so i feel like that's the overall energy you're attracted to like i said from the young from from the from the younger to the more mature um men or women um there's there's a lot of things happening unfolding pretty fast okay so some of you are in a relationship right now things could be things could be feeling good things could be feeling abundant things could be looking very good right now but this, you know, this three of fire is saying like, have patience because, you know, don't rush into anything like some things like the answers are going to come to you, whatever it is that you're seeking with this person that you're dating, you'll find out, you know, you'll receive the news at some point. Okay. This could also mean, you know, slow down, but you can also be, you know, thinking about making long term plans. But again, I feel like again, it's a slowdown, like slow down, take your time with this relationship, enjoy this phase of attraction, enjoy this phase of connecting, of, you know, just connecting with one another. You don't have to rush into anything right now. Okay. So that's the overall energy. And the advice is wedding. Look at that. This situation involves marriage. Choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with love. Okay. So some of you, there is a strong connection to someone that you're dating right now. Or again, for some of you, this could be multiple people, but maybe you have a one, you have one person that you're mainly focused on. But again, 
I feel like some of you are trying to make these long term plans about, you know, your relationship. And there's an energy of you're needing to kind of slow down because things are moving really, really fast. But it does, you know, there is there is this possibility of a wedding happening, you know, an engagement. You're not just going to jump to a wedding, but there's an engagement phase that um, can be happening for um, some of you. So just be patient with that. OK, let's see what the advice is. What advice do you have for Scorpio couples? Hey, go lay down. Sorry, guys. Okay. What advice do you have for Scorpio couples? What advice do you have? There is a lot of love that's, you know, that's happening, though, for you guys right now, okay? And if, I do feel like there's an energy of you guys have options. Um, but again, it's like, be patient. Things are going to unfold organically, naturally, okay? Don't rush anything. Don't force anything. Don't pressure anyone into anything right now, okay? All right, so I have the page of earth, the five of air, page of earth, nine of air, five of air, and six of fire. So everyone's on the board here. You can be dating anyone, earth sign, water sign, fire sign, or even another water sign. Um, <clears throat> so with this, with this energy of a wed wedding, again, look with this page of earth again, it's about being patient, okay? Definitely be impatient, okay? There's, you know, good news on the way for some of you, okay? So maybe for some of you, you may be getting engaged. You may be getting married. That's, you know, could be a right around the corner from... Sorry, guys. Hold on one sec. Farley, go lay down. Okay. So, you know, I feel like some of you, you know... Some of you have a little bit of anxiety around this. Maybe things are moving fast for some of you, or maybe you're stepping into a relationship or something good that you haven't yet have yet experienced, have yet to experience, and it feels good. Everything feels amazing. But for some of you, it's like marriage kind of scares me. Do I really want to be committed in that way? Okay. So this is this nine of air is here. It's like, you know, some of you haven't even gotten engaged yet. And you're already thinking about when your person is going to propose to you or you proposing to the, your person. There's this energy of like, am I really ready to do this? Okay. There is a wedding around the corner. So I'm just saying the five of air again, you know, more conflict of being in your head. Okay. Some of you, some of you are not ready to be married and this is this is why the overall energy is saying slow down okay so i feel like things are gonna again unfold at the right time and that right time is your right timing that could be whenever 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 you're ready there's no rush to the finish line okay um this this time is about learning and understanding and having fun okay um reviewing things okay and making sure you're not falling into old patterns okay and then the six of fire here when you take your time you will win okay with this six of fire here again this is all good news for those of you that are in a relationship right now your couple there is some good things on the horizon for you but take your time there's no rush there's no rush to do anything right now, okay, Scorpio? But again, I feel like you couples are in a really good place right now with your person. The outcome is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Look at that. Honestly discuss your feelings with one another. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires, okay? So this is telling me, like, don't fall victim to losing yourself in this relationship. Be open and honest. Be transparent. You know, have heart to heart conversations whenever it is that you need to have heart to heart conversations. Don't put anything off. OK, when you're feeling something, talk about it. OK, be open and honest, because if you're going to step into this, you're going to step into a marriage or if you're already in a marriage, you know, you want your marriage to last. And if you are stepping into a marriage, you want your marriage to last. <laughs> OK, that's pretty much it. What's the outcome for Scorpio? Scorpio couples. Outcome for Scorpio couples. Outcome for Scorpio couples. 
couples, please. Oh yeah, look at that. We have the dreamer, the four of air, and the lover. So two major arcanas. This is deep. Okay, some of you have been dreaming about this, you know, this sort of relationship. Okay, and it's happening. You're in it. There's a lot of love alignment there. Okay, you've chosen to be, you've chosen this person for a reason. Okay, with this four of air here, some of you, again, take your time. Relax. Just chill. Some of you are just way in your head, way too much. Just you there's okay look no one's putting a gun to your head saying that you have to marry me okay <laughs> or you have to marry them okay so just relax take a chill pill literally and um or figuratively some of you might need to take a pill <laughs> but <laughs> you know the dreamer is here the lover is here how amazing is that you know you guys are going to be taking a leap of faith and you got to talk about that. You got to have these heart to heart conversations. OK, you got to get back to the things that you love. First stop loving yourself. OK, but you again, I feel like this is going to be a beautiful journey that you guys are taking together. OK, for sure. But it's definitely time for you to rest. Maybe some of you may need to go on vacation with your person and maybe going on vacation is where you have these heart to heart conversations. You know, because it's just the two of you, no distractions, and you can just be open and honest, okay? Um, who cares if someone gets mad with you being honest? I would, you know, I, I, I would like to think that, you know, yes, if you're open and honest, sometimes that may initially sting a little bit for some people, but at least you've gotten the truth, right? Um, so... Again, meditate around this to keep your stress levels down, okay? Because again, some of you are probably planning a wedding or you're, you know, planning a proposal and there's a lot of stress involved in this, but you're going to take a beautiful leap of faith and it's all going to be amazing because you're marrying your life partner, you're marrying your twin flame, your soulmate, okay? So have these conversations together. Be open, honest, and transparent, and I promise you all will be well. Okay, Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll be back with your February readings. Have a great time. Great month. Bye.